Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sui. I'm Anna. And we're so happy to have you guys uh, for our third video. Yeah. Uh, today is story time. Yeah, but also you guys are amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> we have the best subbies. I love you guys. Thanks for all the hype. Thank you for the... Um, Anna, what? I see all the hype, you guys. I love it. You guys are like saucy be That's why now I'm back. So, yes, I'm ready to masuka. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, this this whole formal outfit, you guys, our topic today is serious. Like, it's serious to me. You know? No, he doesn't. <clears throat> I was at work. I just came from yeah. work, so that's why I'm dressed like this. Yeah. And I figured, let's give the people what they want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, our story time today is about our engagement, like how the whole engagement <laughs> thing panned out. Yeah. Um, our engagement actually was in Malawi because uh, my wife had like a workshop in Malawi at the time. That was in 2017. Um, was oh yeah. Yeah, 2017 on the 6th of October. Time. 6th of October. Yeah, that, was, things. that was the day of the engagement, you guys. Um, first of all, did you, did you see it coming that period? Were you like suspicious? When I said, no, let's meet, date, were you like seeing it coming? Huh? First of all, let me say this. For the, what? For the couples, the, the, the singles, the young couples, one thing people don't tell you about engagements is that Nine out of ten times, people know that they're going to get engaged. People know. Like, if anything, some girls even pick up their ring. <laughs> it's just the truth. Like, let's be realistic. You mean like a lady actually picks out her own yeah, ring? Yeah, yeah, No, like, in some instances, this is just the truth. Many people know that they're going to get engaged. In fact, in Zambia, some people even go to their homes. They reach, they take Tumbale, they do all that uh, process. Then they come out and then, like, surprise them with a ring or something. Many times it's not even that much of a surprise. It happens. It's real. It's different situations. It works differently. There's no one rule across the board. It doesn't happen the same. Coming back to my engagement. Well, so that being said, I think at around the time we were getting engaged, we were already set. It was almost like, like we, we, were at the se we were on the same page. So yeah. it's not like you just came out and then like surprised, in, you know what I mean, proposed and then you're not even sure whether I'm going to say yes or no. We were kind of like on the same page. Whether I knew that it was going to happen right there and then, no. Kind of caught me off guard. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, for us, uh, like I did it like the untraditional way. Like yeah. we took the ring first and then the tumbale later. Mm -hmm. And I felt like to me, that was important to do that way so that it becomes a surprise. Yeah. Because when I bring tumbale, or for those of you guys who are not in Zambia, anyway, tumbale is, uh, that's a different story. No, it's, day. Yeah. It's, it's the lobola, uh, yeah. It's like the oh, I start the no process yeah. of marriage, mm -hmm. like in our local setup. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, so my wife, like I said, was in Malawi. So I decided to go to Malawi and propose from Lusaka to Malawi. And when I say Malawi, you guys, it wasn't even long way. <laughs> it wasn't a long way. It was like it's not that far. It was Salima. It's, it was it's like by the lake, the cowboy of Malawi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, a cowboy so of Malawi. Yeah, so it's like lakeside Salima. Like most people know Salima. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, I decided to go by bus. I could have driven there, uh, but I was a friend of mine at the border who told me it's a good idea if you actually uh, go by bus as opposed to going by road because. Uh, traffic police in Malawi, yeah, number one. And then number two, um, it was just going to be like costly, the wear and tear. You were so brave and, and had never even done yeah. that. And so I've gone there actually road. never been there before. I had to go by road, you guys, to Malawi. <laughs> okay, I'd been to Malawi before, but I had to go to Malawi by road uh, in a country I don't know. Uh, a language I understand brave. a bit, but don't really speak. So here, here it was. Left home around five, because I used uh, like the Zambi Malawi. Left home around five. Um, I was reaching the border at about 5 p.m. Uh, Zambian time. So uh, we did everything, passports, clearance and everything, left. So I was in contact with like one of your friends and like uh, you are there, like two of your friends. I was in contact with them. So like they knew I was coming. Um, they were not sure what time. In fact, one of your friends actually thought uh, I was flying. So like, no, someone come pick up at the airport. I was like, hey, hey, take it easy. We're coming by road. Yeah, because it's what we're used to, you know. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I got to the border at five, did the clearance. My friend then got me a SIM card. Ah, you guys, I just quiet. My friend at the border got me a SIM card <laughs> and put talk time in there. So when I reached there, I just switched SIM cards. I was calling our friends to organize so that we do the whole thing uh, very well. So 
five hours of the border and then two hours later I was in Ilongwe. So I was in Ilongwe like around 7 p.m., like 19 hours. Mm-hmm. And then I reach and then I find this guy, uh, like I reached a bus station in Ilongwe. So now I had to get on the bus coming to Salima where my wife, or my, my girlfriend then was. Uh, when I got there... Okay, so the, maybe, no, 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 let me come uh, now this whole That's time, funny. no, but it's also my, my like now yes. my side of the story up to this part. So this whole time, so yeah, I was I was in Malawi for work, and so we were like you know by Lakeside um, resorts, and yeah, so we have like workshop in the evening chilling. So during the day I work. Normally in the morning we will talk, and yeah, I will obviously like text during the day or something. But that day was strange. We didn't talk the entire day i'm like what's going on i couldn't get through i even tried calling your line directly i couldn't get through online i tried calling your line directly I was like, so now in my head i was confused you know it's like i was going to instead of confusion I'm like what's going on but at the same time you know during the day it's like work i had a workshop and whatnot so i was kept busy but then now evening came it's evening i'm still trying to get hold of you i can't get a hold of you I'm not chilling. So we have dinner. So like me and my colleagues, you know, in the evening, you know, it's like chill, it's chills, you know, there's like, um, uh, Alexa, it's bar, chill area kind of thing. So like after dinner, we are there chilling and because we didn't talk and whatnot. So I was actually, my, like my, my mood was actually dampened, you know? So I wasn't even in the mood to like sit around and chat and like, you know, be whatever. Yeah. Maybe with everyone. So I was quick. I was kind of like saying I was retiring to bed and I'm like, ah, no, I'm leaving. <laughs> My friends, you know what I mean? They kept, they kept coming around like, are you all right, Anna? Offering me drinks? Offering... <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone being so... You know, they were... In... Meanwhile, this whole time, they were trying to keep me around. They didn't want me to go. So like... I remember my, like, one of my colleagues coming and she's like, Anna, do you want a drink? I'm like, no, I'll be leaving. Uh, like, I'll be going just now. I'm turning around, she comes and she's giving me a drink. So now I'm confused, like, I just told her I don't want a drink, she's giving me a drink. So, like, just weird stuff kept happening the whole time, like, that evening, not knowing that you were on your way, yeah, so... Yeah, continue. and to me the challenge was, when I entered Malawi, like, the bus, as the bus was moving, they kept asking me, how far are you? And I had no idea how far <laughs> I was. I, I feel that's why they became a bit jittery. So, like I said, I was at the bus station, like, now in Ilongwe, so I had to find a bus to come to San Lima. So they're, like, that's small buses, mm-hmm. like, local buses. Now, this is where it got scary. This guy comes to me and tells me, where are you going? Because he saw I obviously had the bag. Where are you going? And in my bag, obviously, was my camera and my everything because I wanted like, you know, take a you know, shot of the moment. I couldn't afford to carry a cameraman from Zambia. And I don't know how much Malawian cameraman costs, so I couldn't risk oh that. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, me and my bag. And by the way, I didn't have like like cash, a lot of Malawian cash on me because I figured, ah, I'm not staying long. He says, pa, 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 and I'm back. 19 hours, oh, I'm looking for a bus to Salima, I told this guy. And this guy tells me, uh, the buses have stopped moving. <laughs> you guys, you could, I, I felt my skin move. Foreign country, 19 hours, buses are not moving. And then tells me, no, that my room is Kumbuyo. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> so I, I got some, asked someone else, asked someone else, someone, I know, Kuribasi Mozi, like there's one bus, it's right over there. Ah, you guys, I went, this bus going to Salima? Yes, I sat. I had a sigh of relief for the first time in like 30 minutes because I was panicking. I had no idea what was gonna happen. So I jumped to that bus, that bus was fast. And I wasn't complaining, it was fast. Um, so I yeah, it's like called your friends. It's a two, I told them, hour drive. Yeah. Like an hour 45. So yeah, like an hour 45. So that was like 7.30 p.m. An hour 45 is almost like what? Yeah, almost like be, be just before 10 p.m. Mm. So, um, yeah, meanwhile, everyone was just keeping me. And I remember <laughs> one of my colleagues <laughs> from Rwanda just kept me in story. And I'm like, I want yeah. to go. So anyway. And then they, um, they're giving me drinks. Yeah. I'm in contact with your friends. I tell them, okay, guys, I'm on my way. We're almost there. Because I keep asking the conductor, like, okay, how far are we? How far are we? Yeah. So you're telling me. Uh, we reached at the filling station. I called them. Now I'm at this filling station. I think that was Puma. I can't forget. Mm-hmm. Okay, then they came, you know, they came with the bands. I was like, okay, things are yeah, working out. Yeah, and like now this is like one of my like close friends who was now in contact with him, like organizing everything. And, you know, would always be together in the evening. All of a sudden she disappeared. <laughs> and then there was like all these people yeah, but holding me. At no point could you have thought the engagement is coming. Like no, that no, was no. not even close. At that point I didn't, but it felt... Fishy. Well, no, there was a lot of fishy stuff now happening around me. At that moment, I started to 
I'm telling you, like my 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 mind was on overdrive, and you know it's very difficult to surprise me. And I knew, like now, I was just really on alert because everyone was just acting weird, bringing me weird drinks. You know, like it was very like people were acting how they shouldn't. Now at this point, you are coming, so I'm there, and it's like already after ten, and I'm wondering why these people are keeping me. Then all of a sudden. My friend Gladys, hey Gladys, <laughs> yeah. So now she comes. Now for now you've arrived. So she comes to me, and then she's like, "So they're they're getting me from where we were, and then we are going, guys. This is 10 p.m., 22 hours. <laughs> they are taking us to the beach. They're taking me. Now they come, and then they're like, oh, Anna, we need to have a, a quick meeting. <laughs> no, I'm like, what? Then at that point, I was just like. What in my head now? It's like I started like things started. I started calculating things like real fast. I'm walking and I'm like, why? And I started asking. I remember and I'm, I'm, I'm telling what, like the guy I was with the, um, my friend from Rwanda. And then I'm yeah. like, why are you? Why am I walking to the beach at ten in the evening? Why are we going to have a meeting? And you know the funny thing is they were calling for a meeting. It's like staff. <laughs> And then people who are not supposed to be in the meeting were also there. Okay. So now I'm wondering, like, why am I walking to the beach? Why am I going to have a meeting at this hour? Oh, wow. and then, my, no, my mind was on overdrive. But we're walking. Then they're also just like, no, come. And we start walking. And then I come. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was the craziest thing. But also, I, okay, it was in my wildest dreams. I was not expecting that you'd be there. Like it was the last thing. Like and there I was, and, and, and I could to me not also, like that also, one. You blew it off because I could not have thought that you would come. Yeah, and I did. Yeah, and because then like and I, I just found him by the beach, and then I don't know what they did. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I remember Daniel coming with a camera. It was just crazy. Yeah, because it was a friend of mine. Because apparently you were with a friend of mine, Chikonde. So the whole yeah, thing just yeah, you know, yeah, went yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pop the question. Um, yeah, then he said them. yes. Excuse me. You guys, I was mm-hmm. caught off guard. We'll probably insert some of like those pictures. Like, oh my pictures. goodness, guys! But it people was on social bad. media were excited, like, "Oh, she was really surprised." Ah, you know, because of the way you're dressed. It was. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like it worked. I was caught off guard. I had no idea. I had tropicals on my feet. I was just like in this, like, dr- like guys, like it was the last thing I expected, but it was so sweet. I like loved it. And then the strangest thing happened. Uh, so I was. I was by the beach, you guys, two weeks. This was the second week. Probably like towards the yeah, like yeah. towards the end. Like this was the second week, towards the end. It didn't shower, it didn't drizzle, it didn't rain. There was nothing. And then that day, you the moment he proposed, I said, yes, we're jumping and whatnot, guys. Then it started to pour. Like <laughs> That was like, like heaven confirmed. What like, do you, you know, know about showers that was just of God blessings? Saying, That's my son. I was just like. It when your like, friends organized flowers, right? remember how your friends organized like a boat yeah, from wine and whatnot? I was like, like nice. flowers came, wine and whatnot, and then we sat. We're like, and it was amazing, you guys. The problem, so you see, you're planning. Like, <laughs> my planning works. Was at, like, you guys, there was no like we, we we couldn't like document that. Like there was no good, you know. It was a night. It was dark, but like the after was so nice. Like it was. It was amazing. And then we just gazed at the stars and then we just showered, like drizzled. It was, it drizzled, you guys. I was just like, yeah, God, yeah. thank you. And then it they, just felt right. Tell me about the honest. reactions, like when Puna found out, like, oh, we know you went for wake, came back engaged, how? No, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> no, it was crazy. It was so crazy. And then like, <laughs> you're never ready for that, you guys. Like your birthday, you know how your birthday, like your phone is always buzzing with like happy birthdays and whatnot. Your engagement is on another level. It's like 2.0. <laughs> like even people you haven't talked to in years are going to talk to you that day. It was, it was something else, but it was amazing. I loved it. Yeah. Then I had to share with my friends and whatnot. Yeah. But you, you put that one off because yeah. anything you'd have done in Lusaka, I was going to, ah, out. Lusaka was, Lusaka I'll, was making me panic. Cause I was like, what can I do? Yeah. And I was going to find out for one, like, and also I don't like surprises. Like I'm one of, I'm very paranoid. I and always your friends, ask your friends let you me down. Pressure. Your friends let me down. Cause I was How? always consulting them. Guys, what can we do? What can you do? Ah, the ideas were just like weak. Then I was just, no, ah, because, you know what? <laughs> Because like nothing was going to surprise me, I was really going to know. But my friends did a good job in picking my ring. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the other thing. So I was saying earlier. What mean you? Yeah, we picked, that some, we, we like picked you the ring. and them. We, like yes. some people. Yeah, like I said. So it's usually preference. So some people, like some people, are very particular. So the guy even knows that. So, hey, 
it's either what she wants or she's going to hate it. So that's why I'm saying some girls actually end up Pick picking their own rings. <laughs> Give the surprise. Yeah. But also, if you've got like a group of friends or maybe you're close to your sister or you, yeah, then your guy can get help from them. And usually that's what happens. So he got help from my friends. Thank you guys. I loved my ring so much. Also, yeah, it was perfect. And I knew my friends had, I was like, did you pick this? <laughs> that was my first question after. I knew then like I found out my friends had something to do with it. So yeah. And that's our story, you guys. Uh, I don't know what you think about it. Uh, feel free to post in the comments what you think about uh, this adventurous no, story. yeah, you can Zambia tell us about Malawi. your own stories. Like, what do you know? What do you want to know about, like, you know, these processes? Yeah, we can talk about, you know, the engagement, marriage process. So, yeah, in the comment section, let us know what you want to find out. And then also, I see you guys that um giving us, you know, um, suggestions. I love that. So, please keep giving us those suggestions. And, yeah, see you in our next video. Thank you guys. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share, comment, like, 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 like. Yeah, click on the notification bell. And please, guys, subscribe. It's free. Mahala. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.